first thing I usually do as soon as I get up at 6 a.m. is I will check my phone for any business messages. I will go through my emails. I will look at my comments, try to reply back to you guys, and also reply back to messages for Eminem Rustics. While I'm getting my makeup on for the day, that is when I'm doing my first pump. So that's what I'm trying to show you guys here is I am pumping while I'm putting my makeup on. And as of right now, it is 6.30 in the morning. I let myself pump for 30 minutes while I put my makeup on for about 30 minutes. I'm going to take, so this bottle, I'm going to put four ounces of my morning session in here for him. Um, the rest of it I combine with my last evening's pump from last night. Combine those together. Four ounces, always like four ounces on the dot. And then I will put that into a bag and bring that to daycare. Four ounces. I like to get all this stuff done downstairs before the kids wake up so that they're not just like sitting and waiting for me because they get really crabby. Well, the day is in Kaya. Grab my bags from the freezer. Daycare has two um, breast milk bags and I'm gonna give her three more four ounce servings today. Um, Um, okay, I don't know why I'm like super washed out. So typically in the morning, what I will do is I will make myself a protein shake at this time as well. Um, and I do one scoop of Shakeology. I do one tablespoon of brewer's yeast and one tablespoon of flaxseed with um, coffee. So like this iced coffee from Starbucks and almond milk. So unsweetened vanilla, almond milk. And then I will also do my favorite <laughs> the unsweetened iced coffee um, from Starbucks but this morning because I am running low on time I promised Kaya she was good last night that we would go and get a shake this morning so we're gonna go to my favorite shake shop which I've told you guys about a million times and I've showed you a million times so all right now it's time to wake the kids up and get them dressed
tab. You are ready. Got baby beam in your mouth. All right, let's boogie. dropped Riker off 740 I grabbed a shake um, and then at 750 Kaya went to her preschool and now I'm on my way to work and it is 758 and all right so I usually get to work by 8 on like a normal day but for the next five weeks um, while daycare um, or while Kaya's daycare is like waiting to have an opening for Riker Riker is going to um, a separate daycare and she's just the sweetest gal I really love her um, and she lives close to me, so um, baby boy is going there. Um, sucks that they have to be like separate right now, but I really love both of my providers, so that makes me very happy. Um, yeah, so like I said, right now it is like eight o'clock ish, and I am like just getting on the interstate to go to work, and I still have to stop and get gas on the way there, so. Absolute mass chaos. Okay, so I'm filling up with some gas right now and it is like 8 10. All right, so I have to tell you guys a really funny story quick. So, Kaya has been potty trained for quite a while now, but um, just all of a sudden, after last week, after going to my parents' house, I don't think she knew where the bathroom was and I think she was like too excited. She was having too much fun to like want to stop. Um, and like go to the bathroom. So she like had an accident every single time this weekend. It was kind of a mess um, And she's been doing better this week, but she still has had a couple accidents So Kaya sleeps with us at night She'll like sneak into our bedroom um, in the middle of the night or sometimes we'll just let her like fall asleep in the bed with us Because we're just so tired um, but anyways, so she had an accident last night in the bed and She didn't even wake up from it and usually she'll wake up she didn't even wake up she was so tired and so Mike and I are doing like the pea sheet shuffle and like taking the sheets off and I told Kai I was like actually pretty upset and plus I was like really tired I told Kai I said you're gonna have to start sleeping in the bathtub or the shower if you're gonna have accidents like that and she just gets up and like walks into the bathroom and lays down in the shower I felt so bad. I was like, no, like, I was just kidding. I'm just kidding. I just thought it was so sweet. She just up walks to the bathroom. I felt so bad after that, though. Man, a poor little girl. Hopefully, we can get her accidents back on track, though, and things will be back to the way they were last week. Ugh, I don't know. I'm trying to break that habit. Leave a comment down below if you guys, like, if your kids, like, go through these spurts where they, like, have accidents and then they do fine and... Let me know down below if your guys' kids do that. Um, Kaya is like three and a half right now and for the most part never has an accident. Um, but she's just going through like one of those weeks where I guess she's having accidents. So, ah. All right, I'm gonna go take the thing out and get going to work. leaving work it is five o'clock and my next thing on the agenda is to pick up Kaya from daycare or from preschool and then um, Mike always gets Riker because I can't make it to both places before 530 
um, and they're both like required to be picked up at 5.30. So that's my um, thing right now. I'm gonna go get Kaya, and then I will see you guys back at home. Okay, so I just got home. Kaya's in the back seat. We've got Riker in the back seat now. Mike transferred him over. We are going to go to Menards, which is like, um, like a I don't know if it's like only in the Midwest or if it's all across the country, I'm not sure, but we're gonna go there, we're gonna grab some materials, we're gonna deliver a media center. Um, I'll show you guys what that looks like um, that we made. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna go to Menards, we're gonna grab more material for another media center, and I'm gonna grab some landscaping supplies. And then we're gonna grab food and come home and start our nighttime routine. landscaping stuff for outside so this is only half of what I need for mulch I think um, but yeah <laughs> stocked up on that and rock and I carried oh I wish I like took the camera out but my hands were full I was carrying like one cart full of all of this like hundreds of pounds of stuff with one hand and pushing the kids with the other super mom and here comes Mike with all of the lumber for the orders well, I just worked off that keto but that I ate. That's nice. Here him comes. Hello. Daddy, look at this is this is only half of what we need, I think. I only got eight bags. What do you get the rock for? Two fifty a bag. Well, I mean, what do you get the rock? The rock is gonna go where like the railroad tie, you know, the steps. Maybe you get some gravel too. That's what the rock is for, is to go in between the, the steps there. I'll have to show you guys here in a second, but like I drew out this whole wow, thing. Look at that. But I only got eight bags. I figured we need 16. Does that seem like a crazy amount? Well, how much? It's two, cu it's two cubic feet per bag. How much per bag? Uh, $2 a bag. It yeah, it was really cheap. But, um, yeah, I think that should match our post really, really nice. Okay, you, you need to get in the car, we need to get that in, and we need to get home. Come on, Kai. No, 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 no. Come on. Okay, you gotta get out. I gotta get the material. <laughs> Turd. Okay, let's go. Come on, honey, let's go. It's like a hurricane outside. Kaya had an accident last night, so we're washing the mattress pad. <sighs> okay. Getting my pump, it is eight o'clock right now and I need to get Kaya in the bath by 8.30 because we're in bed by nine. Um, Riker is usually sleeping. Oops, okay. All right, I got my pump and um, okay. So it's eight o'clock, a little bit later than usual. I gotta get Kaya in the bath and get Riker into bed by 8.30. So I'm gonna do a really quick pumping session, take my thumbnail for this video, get Kaya, or pump, get Kaya in the bath, Riker into bed, and then I will pump one more time at 10. Okay. All right, and while I pump, I've got Mr. Puppy Boy hanging out. Hi. Hey, the happy boy. Hi. A goo. A goo 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 goo. A goo 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 goo. He is so ticklish. And you're on the verge of laughing, aren't you? Oh my gosh, and all the puke. Caught that right on camera. <laughs> Buddy boy. What a nice, yeah. So, <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you laughing at me because you puked? Is that funny to you? Is that funny to you? Is that funny to you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you better now? Hi. I just want to say, yeah. 
Oh my gosh, you're cute. Ah. Um, ah. I could just sit here and love you all night to just sweet it is a boy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I gotta go pump your milks for you. Okay. You hang out here. Okay. <gasps> yeah. You hang out here. <laughs> okay. So while I'm pumping, I'm gonna show you guys like my drawing. This is really terrible lighting, and I look really scary. But sorry. Okay. So on my drawing, get it to focus. So on my drawing, you can see that over here we're gonna be having like some grass. Here's our mailbox with some grasses around it and some like rock. And then we'll have some like steps going around this grass here. And then we will have um, some mulch with bushes around here. And up on the porch we'll have some big planters. More planters in front of the garage. Um, the planters by the house, I want it to have tall grasses. Um, and then on the side of the house, I'll be, I'll show you like more in depth on the other side, but there's two bushes here and then a small bush in between, some planter boxes, some shutters, and then, oh. And then you can see right here, this is um, like the side view of our porch. Um, and our side view of our house and our porch. So over here we'll have like a couple bushes with a tiny bush in between, hanging flowers, more bushes, big bushes, hose, real cover thing. Um, and then all of this will just be like black edging with like brown mulch in there. Um, we might fancy it up later. Um, like as we go along we might fancy it up. Sorry my fingernails are super dirty from like holding that mulch, gross. Um, Anyway, yeah, so that's like the general idea of what we're doing with all of that landscaping stuff we got. I can't wait to share that with you guys. It'll be super fun. Hoping to have it done before um, we have Riker's baptism in June. Memorial Day. Huh? You want to before Memorial Day? Well, yeah, I probably will be done before Memorial Day, actually. Yeah. If we plan to get it done in a couple of weeks, so. And then we got to haul a bunch of dirt in, too. Yeah, Day but day, and then weekends we'll we gotta finish our orders and first, and then we'll get to the landscaping. That's the plan. Just pumped 3.75 ounces, almost four ounces. These two bags are from earlier. That's a total of four pumped um, because I just gave him one. So three for tomorrow. Three for tomorrow should be plenty. The next thing in my routine is I will rinse all of the um, pump stuff out. I will sanitize it one more time so it's ready to go for me to pump at 10. And then um, I'll get the kids ready for bed, get them upstairs. taking a bath and Riker is just hanging out in his bassinet right now before I change him. I am switching a load of the kids' laundry over because as I told you guys earlier, Kaya's been having um, accidents this week. She's just kind of like went backwards a little bit. So I have to send with several changes of clothes to tomorrow's um, day of preschool. Hey. Now she's having a hand because she can't have two bath bombs in the bath. So, um, anyway, I have to send with a bunch of outfits tomorrow. Because she wound up naked today. She had two accidents. So, we're not going to let that happen tomorrow.
I am going to set him up with his last nighttime baba. Now this, honestly, this one, it, this is all I have left for breast milk, like to give him for tonight, and then he'll have to have formula. Um, even though I just, like, you guys saw me just pump. <laughs> Sorry, he's like kicking the camera. Um, even though you guys just saw me pump almost four ounces, I have to save that for tomorrow at daycare. It's just easier for me to send him with all breast milk during the day and then for me to do the supplementation at night instead of me having to send with two different kinds of milk, like breast milk and the formula. So I just give her all the breast milk and then I keep um, the leftover breast milk for myself and then the formula. So like I said, this is about um, like a half an ounce left in this bottle and I'll let him drink every last drop of this breast milk and then I um, will give him formula if he needs to be topped off even more which I know he will probably probably like a good two to four ounces more so I'm gonna give him this get Kai out of the bath and into jammies and then I think we're well on our way to almost ending this video you guys um, are you exhausted yet because I am <laughs> All right, I've got jammies. Much more comfy for me. This is like my usual attire when I go to bed. Leggings, a giant top with a pumping bra underneath, and a robe. I can't promise you that I smell super great, but I look kind of cute. So now, yes you guys, I will be taking my makeup off tonight, but for recording purposes, I'm gonna keep it on until the last minute. Riker woke up. So I'm gonna get him a bottle, and that will be, I'll probably do two ounces of formula. Hmm. Okay, bottle, and then bed. Just real quick before I go to, um, this is my editing setup, so now that I'm in bed, I will edit this vlog. While Kai is going to bed, Riker is going to bed, I will edit the video and get it up and scheduled for tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. <laughs> Boom. Last steps in the night, after my pajamas are on, is vitamins. For this one. But I want have some vodka. And then Penny Greek. I take two of these three times a day, once at breakfast, once at, once at lunch, and then once, hang on, I gotta take these pills, and then once when I'm going to bed. The fenugreek is supposed to help with breast milk supply. Okay guys, that is going to wrap up this day in the life. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope I gave you guys like a good enough idea of like how I do it and like what I do. Um, like I said, a lot of it is just like, oh, it's just like balancing all of it is really hard. I'm feeding Riker as I'm recording this right now. Can you find my glasses? I don't know where they are. I will, that's going to conclude this video. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my other crazy video routines and daily vlogs. Um, or I shouldn't say daily, um, just my vlogs. <laughs> Just wait for the video on Sunday, you guys. It's going to be so much fun. It's another 24-hour video, so stay tuned for that. Okay, bye, guys.